Hello watch fans! Berthier Watches here and this time for you I've got something that I think is really special. This is everything I like about having my own vintage watch business. This is rare, beautifully built, interesting design and great value for money in my humble opinion. And you know what else would you want? Now this is a two, circa 2005 Chrono Swiss Delphis. We don't have the box or the papers for it, but we've got an article from the uh, wristwatch magazine from, or wristwatch annual from 20, 2005, showing this model exactly the same. The one in the book actually has yellow gold. This has rose gold bezels. And I say bezels because there's one at the back as well. Now, the reason you don't see many of these, obviously Chrono Swiss don't have the marketing budget of say Rolex. So, was this more or less than a Rolex? In 2005, you could have a Rolex GMT Master II instead of one of these. In fact, you could have two Rolex GMT Master IIs instead of one of these and still afford to go for a nice lunch. You could even get, and this is gonna sound weird to some people, and it would have sounded weird to me if they, I was working at Chrono Swiss and they suggested this. You could get an Oldemar Piguet Royal Oak automatic 36 mil in 2005 and change for dinner. Or you could buy this nearly $9,000 watch. So it's a brave statement. Where did the money go? Let's start at the back. Rose gold rotor exhibition case back i think it's 29 jewel is it 30 29 jewel automatic movement uh looks like a rose gold tang and highlight on the buckle and these aren't spring bars these are threaded bars that go all the way through even in the buckle you know they didn't skimp on the quality stainless steel in there you've got the model reference and the serial number and we've checked it against the watch register, of course. But the real money, you look at the front. Constant seconds running down here above six. This track here is a minute track, and this is called a retrograde minute track. So at the moment it's reading 40 or 22, and then you've got your hours, so it's 40 minutes past 11 here. And I'll show you as you wind it on. So the minutes would go through to 50, 60, and then bang, back to 12 o'clock, zero minutes. And this happens all day long. So really interesting way of displaying the jump hours and retrograde minutes and constant seconds. The other thing where they've spent the money, obviously the rose gold costs some money, but this dial, this guillotte dial, it is right up there with some of the best I've seen. And I am gonna put my hands up and say, Breguet dials are really, really nice. This reminds me of Breguet dials in the way that it's done, not just the style of it that it's done. Particularly like this cross-hatched, completely different pattern behind the sub-seconds. I'm not sure the camera's gonna pick it up but it is gorgeous. And that actually reminds me of the Robert Smith watches. Is it Robert Smith? Richard Smith? R.W. Smith, The Apprentice. I mean, his watches are half a million quid. So take it with a pinch of salt, but it is high, high quality. Beautiful blued hands, only the two of them because you've got the hour wheel. At midnight, you don't actually see it zero zero, it actually has got the CR Chrono Smith logo in the hour wheel. The strap is not by Chrono Smith, it's imitation ostrich, which means we can ship it anywhere. Uh, originally, this would have come on uh, brown crocodile, but we have a problem shipping crocodile with the CITES regulations, so it's better to get one of those 
that's already in your country and you don't have to do the paperwork for it. Beautiful condition. You are not going to see another on anyone's wrist. There would be a healthy bet against that. And now, remarkably good value. You cannot, this is no longer twice the price of a Rolex GMT. This is now a fraction of the price of Rolex GMT. So the person that buys it next has had all the depreciation taken out of it and just has a special watch. Sorry this, one, this video has gone on longer than normal, but I think you'll appreciate this isn't just a standard three-hand watch that is easy to explain. It really is a credit to Chrono Swiss. To see more on this watch, please click the link or subscribe to us and you'll see it on the website. Thanks for watching.